My name is Latoya Jones. I've been driving with DoorDash since 2018, and I absolutely freaking love it. It is the best job I've ever had. I don't see myself doing anything else. I've been to school, I've graduated, and there's no, like the freedom I get from just being out in this beautiful nature, I absolutely love it. So I get to do what I love when I want. I have time, I can travel. I mean, I just absolutely love it. So I average about $1,300 a week with DoorDash. I say average $1,300, but two, two weeks out of the month, I can make $1,500. Two weeks out of the month, I can make $1,300. I dash between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. So I'm usually up at 5 a.m., but if I don't get up at 5 a.m., I'll start at 6 a.m. And I will say the most money is made in the mornings. You get up when people are hungry, when people are ready to eat. That's the great thing about DoorDash. You dash during the morning time, you'll make, I would say, from 5 a.m. until 10 a.m., you're looking at about uh, 50 to $100. I, from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm already at about $60, dollars $70. $70. And before 1 a.m., before 1 p.m., I'm at $100. My goal is to make 100 by 1 p.m. if I'm waking up between 5 or 6 a.m., Another great, great way you can make more money is do it every day. Uh, do it every day, if you can, 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you're a night person, you'll notice that more orders are coming in after 5.30. So you're looking at 5.30 or 6 p.m. until about 8 or 9 p.m. at night, you'll make another 100. So I average $200 a day. At the most, I can do 250 a day. Uh, yesterday I did $282 on a Sunday. The best dashing days for me are Mondays, glorious Mondays. I mean, Mondays are just awesome for me. And uh, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Saturdays are iffy because everybody's out having a good time. Now you may say, well, it doesn't matter what area you're in. Honestly, I don't feel like it matters what area you're in because everybody loves to eat so just get out there and just do the work I'm in an area with no more than hundred and fifty thousand people and I average 200 to 250 a day um, I'm in a very small town and I went to Dallas and I ended up making less in Dallas than I made in my small town uh, Fort Worth Texas is really good to dash in uh, but honestly just understand that when you put in the work you'll see some money coming in uh, another thing I've stopped doing is I do not take small orders I do not take three or four dollar orders sometimes I don't even take an eight dollar order if it's going eight miles I don't even take an eight dollar order I have a lot of faith so I will decline even nine dollar orders because I know that behind it is going to come a 14 or a 16 and and I mean, and, and my and my numbers aren't great because I don't accept every order anymore, but I do have a 5.0 customer rating. Well, 4.99 because somebody gave me a 4 this week. Ah! 4.99. And I do have a 96% on-time rating. Uh, my completion rating, I've because I don't like going to certain areas, so I will get an order and see where it's going, and then I'll un unreassign it. So I'm at like a 86% completion rate, but I do get that up immediately. And uh, so my ratings aren't great, but you're not obligated to take every order because you are a contractor, but you are obligated to complete them. So I'm going to get that completion back up. Uh, my acceptance rating is usually like a 26, 27 because I've learned my worth now and I don't take every order. Uh, but I'm still still good, you know, not getting deleted from the app. I mean, and I used to I used to take every four dollar order and it was it depressed me because one time it was it was very depressing. I didn't want to get back on the app because I didn't want to take every order. And, and this guy was like, you don't have to take every order. You're not obligated. And once I started doing that, man, depression gone. I love doing it now. I don't have to take every order. I I, I can do it when I want freedom. I can travel. I can do it anywhere I want. And that is so awesome. So that's that's the tips I have for you now to just get on the roll with it as far as customer service i have some things that i have uh that i send customers to let them know i'm picking up their order i'm checking their order i think i have a video on that but um you definitely want to check the order if you can't check the order at least let the customer know i couldn't check it and i do have wording for that that i'll share with you all but right now that's all i got for you and if you have any questions or any other things you want me to talk about just in the comment box let me know and i will make a video of it okay
Have a great dashing day and make that money.